Hey guys, it's Liar here. Welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to be a cringy YouTuber. Or the top 5 things to be a cringy YouTuber. So there's technically a top 5. Whatever gets the views going, I don't know. You might be saying, how can you judge if someone's a cringy YouTuber or not? What if you're a cringy YouTuber? Well, my goal in this video is to complete everything on this list. So uh, if I succeed, let me know. The reason why I'm making this video is because Fortnite is just full of clickbait. And it's just cringy, full of like a lot of scumbag YouTubers in my opinion. And Fortnite's making a lot of channels that were good, bad now. Just because of the way the game is. And the way Fortnite is on YouTube. I'm going to mention a lot of channels for this video. But some channels that I'm going to mention were actually good at one point. And then they just turn back because of the game of Fortnite itself. Fortnite, it just, it's just full of a lot of kids. People are trying to take advantage of that and make videos so that people can get easy views because of the kids. Because these kids are delusional. They don't know what's good content, really. And these guys are using it to their advantage. I'm going to explain that further as I go along. So now this list, let's start off with having a fake expression. I'm talking about the Jake Paul, like, Logan Paul, like, expression. Like, it's like, yo, what is up, low gang? Is your boy? Logan Paul, dab on them haters, all that stuff. And you gotta be really enthusiastic like Ali A, because Ali does this for all his kid subscribers. <laughs> hey guys, today we're doing Ali A, and today we're doing the Ali A skin challenge. Let's do this. Cue the Ali A music. Like, you can tell they're trying to look kid friendly because they're just talking as if, like, we're babies, you know? Because they're trying to get views off of Fortnite because a lot of kids play Fortnite. And so many people do this, like, for the dumbest reasons. These are the type of guys that would be excited for a penny. Let's be real. It's right here. Oh, shit! Oh, no! Oh, my God! 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 Oh, Alright guys, today we're going to go over a dead body in Fortnite. Now let's do this. What the hell? Also, the tone on their voice is just so bad where like, you can you can clearly tell it's fake. Like, it just he's just trying so hard to be happy. He sounds so family friendly in the video, but in real life he's probably like the biggest douchebag you ever met. Like, I'm at, like imagine, I imagine Epic Games headquarters got blown up and Elliot would follow a video on it be like, And today guys, we're going to talk about how the Epic Games headquarters got blown up. Now, before we start this video, we're doing a giveaway. Guys, uh, if you want to enter the giveaway, all you gotta do is like, subscribe, and comment down below what your favorite LEA skin is. So this also leads to fake content where people just like make fake gameplay and they record over other gameplay. So it's kind of annoying in my opinion. I'm gonna show a clip on screen right now. I'm gonna look off the edge of the map here. I really feel like there might be someone. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Like you could, they could tell this clip is fake just because he lets go of his mouse before he hits the ground. <laughs> and he just tries to play it off. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. I'm done with Fortnite, guys. Fortnite mans are weird. And I also forgot to add in the beginning of the video. Uh, Fortnite is not the only game that does this. Everywhere on YouTube, there's like these kind of like fake people who are just douchebags. I'm just trying to get this message out and show how bad Fortnite on YouTube is. Also, if I badmouth any channels out there, uh, which I'm going to do a lot in this video, like, try not to hate me because I'm I'm just exposing what they do bad and what they do wrong and what they shouldn't do. And how it's cringy and stuff like that. Like, it's just a scummy. Like, I don't even have a word for these guys. Cunts, you know, cringe word, cringe people, cuck lords. You know what? I'm going to make up a word. I'm going to call them scum lords. That's the word I have for these guys. I'm kind of hoping this video is well on views and I'm expecting a lot of hate this, for this video. But anyway, going into the next part of this list is to do a free V-Bucks giveaway. Probably saw this coming. You know what guys, just to set the mood, let's do a giveaway ourselves, all right? Anyway, before I start this video guys, I wanna make sure to do a V-Bucks giveaway. If you wanna enter the V-Bucks giveaway, all you gotta do is like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications. And once you've done that, go in the comments and comment down, I hate Zoe skins. You know what, just just for just for lols, I'm gonna do a V-Bucks giveaway. Totally legitimate guys, I'm not lying to you. Why would I, just because my name's lie doesn't mean I'm gonna lie to you. Don't you dare assume that I'm lying. A lot of these V-Bucks giveaways are fake. Some of them are real, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to expose people for making fake giveaways. I don't judge them, but I don't know. You can't really tell what's real or not just because of the way they do it. Because you can't tell if anyone's liked the video. You can't tell if anyone's subscribed. Well, unless they have it active, which a lot of people don't. And you can't tell if anyone has notifications on. So if these guys are saying like the video and subscribe, you can't tell. People can like not like the video and still enter, like, still like enter, quote unquote, enter the giveaway. If you want to do a real giveaway, just do it on Glimio. Like, why do you got to do it on your own marketing ways? All the channels are doing it this way, or at least the cringy ones. There's some people that do it on Twitter and they're legitimate, like all those good streamers like Myth and Ninja and stuff like that. Like that, you can tell those are legitimate. Those are nice guys. It's not like they have a reputation for spamming giveaways. These guys, they say they do it, but they never show proof. I'm not sure if LA does 
active ways anymore, but I heard it used to. I want to know because I don't watch his channel, but I heard it used to. Another big one's Doom Higgsy and the Doom Clan. Uh, these guys literally blew up and got so many views, mainly because of V-Bucks giveaways. Not all of them have, but most of them have. Like, I've seen a lot of them. Doom Higgsy is the main one because this guy went from, like, less than 10,000 subs to having over 100k subs in, like, two months, I think, or a month, which is crazy, right? But... The way he gets is like everyone in this chat saying V-Bucks because all he does is V-Bucks giveaways. Alright lads, we're doing a V-Bucks giveaway. If you want to enter, you gotta wait in the chat. Comment one. Once we get a thousand likes on the stream, we're gonna be entering that V-Bucks giveaway, guys. We're gonna start it in the chat. Let me know what you're hyping in the chat, y'all. I checked a lot of his videos and he doesn't get as much use as he used to. So it kind of shows how V-Bucks giveaways can hurt your channel because everyone wants to keep asking for them. You can kind of tell what I'm trying to get at. V-Bucks giveaways are just cringy overall it's just a marketing tactic for kids they know that kids can't afford v bucks so they're trying to <laughs> they're trying to give them v bucks and they're trying to use this to get them to sub to them and use it for their own promotion and it's smart yes but it just can't tell if it's real or not some people actually fake these for real a long time ago there was a channel called derv where he lost his channel when he had over a million subs because he kept lying about fake giveaways and this is exactly what these guys are doing like i mentioned there's a white van outside your house and there's a sign that says free v box inside would you go in the car because that's what v bucks giveaways on fortnite are basically and youtube's doing nothing about it and they're also just promoting v bucks scams so uh yeah there's that like v bucks anything to do with v bucks in general in fortnite on like for youtube it's just you already know it's gonna be toxic there's so many v bucks scams out there talking about glitches how to get free v bucks which is technically illegal by the way and there's also skin giveaways where people give accounts for the skin like for example skull trooper giveaway where they give you their account and a lot of these are fake because they can just easily have the password and just scam you out of money so i don't recommend you do this because i've seen people get scammed like it's gone so bad where epic games had to like tweet about it and they had to put it in the game with a lo loading screen <laughs> So that's how bad it is. Yeah, that's enough about that. If I leave anything up for any parts of this video, I'll make sure to uh, comment it in the section and yeah, I'll put it in after. But anyway, the next part of this list, number three is clickbait. And this should have been number one, but it's not in any order. Clickbait is everywhere. Like it's not just Fortnite, don't get me wrong, but literally 90% of videos on Fortnite are clickbait. And it's just, it's so out of hand, like literally, everything is clickbait. Mainly the little kids that are getting baited into it. The worst thing is that these people don't mind. At least some of them don't. If you go on other games, like, for example, Destiny, if you clickbait there, even just slightly, people will judge you and, like, they'll criticize you on that. They're, like, they're gonna slander you and all that stuff. They're gonna, like, comment down below, all your trash. The dislikes are gonna go way up. But in the Fortnite community, literally all these clueless kids are liking the video. And this also goes with, like, Vbucks giveaways, because it also promotes liking the video when there's nothing for the giveaway. So, kids, if you're watching this, if you want a Vbucks giveaway, either ask your parents or just go to the store, get a $10 uh, PSN card or $13 one. I don't know how much it is for you. And the fact that skins and stuff are so expensive doesn't help at all. Like, all these guys want is money. Anyway, going back to clickbait, there are a few sections of Fortnite that are not clickbait. For example... Uh, exposing other cringy content creators. This is one of the only things that people don't spam videos on and clickbait mainly because that they're kind of exposing themselves if they do that. <laughs> so they're not going to do that. But uh, yeah, everything else like Fortnite theories, like I kind of like I wanted to get into the Fortnite theory videos just because like there weren't like a lot of good ones out there and I had a lot of good theories of my own. And my first theory video did really well actually. It was uh, a theory of what the Blockbuster skin is going to be. But now people are just spamming clickbait videos on it. Mainly people like Dr. Pineapples. I do not like his content at all. I'm sorry for calling him out, but I want Fortnite to have a better community, even though it's not gonna anytime soon. Since the game's so popular and little kids are just clicking on videos regardless. I think he's definitely the biggest one to clickbait. Like, all his videos are clickbait. Like, you go on his playlist right now, it's gonna show him with, like, a mouth open face. <laughs> and if he's something dumb in the background, Victor Royale. All his thumbnails are the same. It's just so annoying. It's gone so bad to the point where he's become a meme with his intro. He's honestly the biggest need to come to Fortnite so far, in my opinion. Opinion. There's also a lot of clickbait live streams where people are like, yeah, top console player, the best console player, free V-Bucks giveaways and streams like that. There's also a channel by the name of Ghost Ninja. I'm pretty sure you guys heard of him. All of his streams are clickbait in my opinion. Today the playgrounds dropped, but it's not really out yet. And he made a video or a live stream on it the day before it came out saying that he's playing with subs on it right now. And he does this for all the skins. Like before the, like, the, the skins actually come out, he makes a video on it. And he's talking about how you get this skin for free and stuff like that. <laughs> I really hope that Fortnite becomes very mature. Just because all these little kids are getting manipulated and they're getting used every kind of clickbait on Fortnite And the good content creators are struggling because they can't like, get views just because all the clickbait I remember one time I made a video on Avengers uh, for Fortnite and the day after I uploaded that video that Fortnite announces a Thanos game mode with Avengers and my video just went like it went from having a hundred views 
to 600 views in like an hour. But then literally all other Fortnite channels start clickbaiting and saying Ninja reacts to blah 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 and stuff like that. And then yeah, my video just became irrelevant after that. But hey guys, this video is clickbait. Let's, let me know if I got a clickbait. I'm gonna put like Ninja in the title or something like that. <laughs> nah, if I'm gonna show Ali Aid's mouth in the picture. Anyway, the next thing on this list is boring content. What do I mean by boring content when I mentioned a fake expression earlier? Gameplay and your content just, it's not enjoyable to watch, it's not entertaining. So there's literally videos out there on Fortnite where I'll literally fall asleep to. Boring content means like you're not really good at the game in my opinion. The thing that really like kills me is that people actually think Ali is a decent player in the game, which he's definitely not. He's a trash player. There's people like Ninja who are good at the game and they're entertaining. There's people like Myth and stuff like that. All those like good streamers, they've made it up there because they earned it. And there's people like Ali A who literally uploads videos of him of a full game where he camps in the base the whole game farming max for 10 minutes which also relates to the next thing on this list is to get the video to 10 minutes long and i literally goes above and beyond that where he does it for the 20 minutes instead of 10 it's literally just him farming mats it's like all right guys farming mats he doesn't cut anything out of the video i don't know i don't see how someone could stay in his video for 20 minutes i, re I really don't because someone let me know in the comments if you watch an anime video over 20 minutes long but boring content is self-explanatory like these guys are just not fun to watch like it's just boring uh the a memes on the other hand I would, I would never sleep to that. That's gonna, that's gonna keep me motivated. And these guys just stretch the video so much. Adopted P, like I mentioned earlier, his theory videos, he makes the video to five minutes long or four minutes long sometimes. And the rest of the video is just his gameplay where he's farming mats. It's really annoying because he's not really good at the game. I've seen one of his videos where he has 12 kills. But the thing is, he doesn't show those 12 kills. He just cuts to where he has 12 kills and the rest of them is just farming mats at the end of the game. Show us the 10 kills. That's more entertaining than you farming mats and not like picking up mushrooms as you're walking. Like you you literally can't see the mushroom as you walk by it, really. I'm not trying to slander these guys or get you guys to hate them. I'm just saying these guys need to improve their content because they're just so bad. Where these guys are just cringy at this point. There's a lot of cringy YouTubers out there that I've missed. The ones that I mentioned so far are the main ones for me at least. Anyway, relating to the video getting stretched to 10 minutes, no one wants to see you farm mats or camping a base for 10 minutes so just because of this video i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna end the video at like five minutes or whatever the time is i don't really know and then the rest of the video is gonna be me farming mats i'm gonna put it on replay it's just a cringy community in my opinion for youtube it's so hard for your videos to get views for fortnite it's, it's gone so far to where like people like logan paul have gone to fortnite and start streaming now that's the top five now i'm gonna mention why fortnite ruins good channels and the reason is because people on fortnite have to clickbait or they have to make some sort of clickbait to get their view videos views because if they don't their channel is gonna suffer they're not gonna they're not gonna get views on fortnite fortnite's basically got a competition and i have a perfect analogy of this it's kind of like a train where there's a limited amount of seats and passengers all the big content creators have reserved their seats first and stuff like that and there's people like la who's like rented out a full like five seats because all this clickbait you guys took up like a whole section of like the train the fortnite train then there's people trying to run up and chase on the train to try to, to like get on and grab it and some of us are just not so fast enough to reach the train and that's how i just see fortnite is right now it's kind of like it's competition and people are just trying to get a seat and try to grab on and get a ride it might have been a shitty analogy you guys let me know if you guys comment below if i had a shitty analogy then i'll give you guys one v-buck and it's not fake 100% legitimate. All you gotta do is give me your password and email for your Epic Games account and I will send you the V-Bucks because uh, I work for Epic Games, guys. I'm totally legit. But an example of a channel that's gotten worse from Fortnite is Smith Plays. And I used to love this guy back on Zombies and Call of Duty Days. He used to make really good videos, in my opinion. His topics were on point. Now on Fortnite, so much of his videos have gotten so bad. On Zombies, he was an expert. He can actually, like, he was the guy to make those videos. He does not know a lot about Fortnite. I'm not trying to hate on him. He was a good guy. I like him. Content is just not as good as it used to be because of Fortnite. And that's because Fortnite promotes bad content. It's, that's the way it is because people just try to make money off of little kids and get views. Now, he doesn't really do anything on this video except maybe like the boring content and the 10 minute long videos. And a lot of his videos, uh, he makes videos about like top five skins or top like stuff like that. He made a tweet about this where he said that if he makes any other videos or even COD, like it won't do good on views just because COD dead right now. Don't get me wrong, some of his top fives and ranking videos are actually good. I'm not going to really go into detail with this because like I, I still stop to watch, still watch his content. It's not like the best as it could be just because of fortnite because on destiny channels like there's people like rifle gaming and rickakis like people like rifle gaming he was kind of like the alley a of destiny where he would make kind of like clickbait videos and he would do giveaways the thing is though no one believes his giveaway just because say like the video and put a comment and he would like message you or something like that basically what people are doing nowadays on fortnite his giveaways are probably real 
just no one believed him just because of this. I'm still sub to Rifle Gaming and Fritakis. Just that Rifle Gaming, he would kind of make these kind of clickbait videos. It wasn't really clickbait, but he would get hated for it just because people would call it clickbait. Like, he's a decent guy. A lot of his content's funny. And also, Red Cactus, he just stretches his videos 10 minutes long. And the same thing goes for Call of Duty. There's channels like, uh... I think it's Jim Bothy, I'm not sure. He used to make like fake Easter eggs videos and it was really funny like the way he made them. But on Fortnite, his videos are just, it's it's bad. Everyone else is clickbaiting, so his videos aren't really funny because everyone thinks it's clickbait as well. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Uh, let me know any cringy things you guys have for YouTubers and uh, let me know if you think I'm a cringy YouTuber. Let me know if you want to see the Ali Ake skin in the game. But yeah, that's the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. And remember... One like equals one V buck. A little bit of fun with this guy, you cannot lie. Oh man, this guy is so screwed. <laughs> he must be pooping his pants right now. Please, Fortnite gods, have mercy on me. Three, two, one, drop it.